huge Pokemon fan, aren't you? Yeah, I played some ranked. I'm not like super good. I just started getting into it like on Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yeah. And I they just announced something that's pretty crazy for the next like online ranked battles, which is they're banning the top 16 most used Pokemon from both singles and doubles. Mm -hmm. And these rules would apply to official events as well. So it's like huge. And they're basically going to change the metagame with it. So the Pokemon they're banning are Venusaur, Gyarados, Porygon 2, Tyranitar, <laughs> Torkoal, Hippodon, Magnezone, Togekiss, Excadrill, Whimsicott, Incineroar, Mimikyu, Rillaboom, Cinderace, Cinderace Indeedee, and Dragapult. I know. And mm -hmm. these are going to be huge <laughs> The guy changes. with the Wonder Woman crowd. <laughs> yeah. I know, so, I know that's the Incine guy. Yeah. yeah. So taking out these Pokemon, it's going to allow Pokemon that used to be suppressed by them to rise up. And then people wow. will also have to fill in new roles. So... For example, Togekiss and Ndidi are one of the top follow me supports right now. And follow me is a move that redirects your opponent's attacks to that Pokemon. So you can basically like protect your glass cannon with a follow me user. And with the two best ones added out of the picture, are people going to even still use follow me anymore? Um, I know Clefairy and Clefable are two that can use it but they have been, you know, overshadowed by Togekiss. So will we see like a huge rise in Clefairy or Clefable usage? And, yeah. Or will people just abandon follow me and go for ally switch or just have tanky teams or offensive teams? And then for Pokemon that can rise up without Excadrill and Tyranitar in the picture, which are the prime threats for Charizard, are yeah. Charizard going to become one of the top most used Pokemon? Because it is really strong. As it's just, he should. Yeah. As he, <laughs> yeah. as Charizard should. The rock, it's just the rock moves just destroy Charizard completely. Mm -hmm. yeah. It has four times weakness to it. And, you know, Tyranitar and Excursion were like the top Pokemon for using ground and rock moves. So it's like taking out all these things is going to completely change what people can do. Mm -hmm. Also, um, and DD and Rillaboom are the only Pokemon that can set up Psychic Terrain or Grass Terrain first turn. So now the only way people can set up terrains will be with their Gigantamax moves. Okay. So, okay. I I played the first gen Pokemon. <laughs> I've casually played the other gen Pokemon games, but never competitively. <laughs> um, never to that level where I'm like really um, looking at, okay, if I'm battling people, what can I do? My reaction yeah. at the beginning of your story was because you can't, you can't ban any of the first gen Pokemon. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm, gonna, gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be biased there, but you cannot their first gen like that Camille. Reason, okay. All right. Uh, There's much you don't know. Oh no, oh no, <laughs> Alex. <laughs> Our friendship could be on the line here. Um, but I, I'm Damn. wondering <laughs> I'm wondering when they are, you know, how often do they come up with these bans for Pokemon? Because I understand you kind of have to um make the make it more competitive for people so if you have people like uh pokemon they're not people although they're people <laughs> in my head um pokemon <laughs> that are op and like some that need to get boosted like i understand the need to ban but how yeah. often do they do that well, balancing this is the first time they've ever banned normal pokemon from ranked play usually only like the mythical pokemon are banned but they've never like Banned Pokemon already in the format. So this is the first time they're doing this. Yeah, and um, mm. actually, like, when I first read about this, I was kind of thinking, that's crazy. Because, this is yeah, this is the first time they're just straight up just... Ba like, this isn't even, um, like, an outside party doing this. This is straight up uh, Pokemon yeah, the company, or Game Freak. The company's doing it, banning them from their, like, actual competitive in their, in their tournaments, their online tournaments, which is kind of crazy to me because you're just literally taking away... Just straight up Pokemon for and then and 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 if these are the the most popular ones, it's like so like so much of the meta is gonna change out of nowhere. At first, I actually thought that that's kind of I don't know. It seems a little too much. But now when I think about it, and I was gonna say, well, why don't they just buff other Pokemon? But then I realized there's like what like seven hundred oh, wow. Pokemon. <laughs> so I guess I guess with Ga is it Game Freak that does the competitive stuff? I think it's the Pokemon Company. I think the Pokemon Company kind of handles the competitive stuff. Game Freak just develops the game. Oh, just develops the game. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I guess 
po- the Pokemon company is like the only one <laughs> that can kind of do something like this just because yeah. there's so many playable Pokemon that the only reasonable thing to do is to just ban yeah. the most used versus and, like um, buffing or nerfing. Over this past year of Pokemon Sword and Shield, I think Pokemon the Pokemon company has shown like a real interest in the competitive scene more than they ever have before. Yeah. Because um a few months ago, they like do these max raid events where certain Pokemon appear more often. Mm-hmm. And uh, a few months ago, they made like the top 5 most popular Pokemon used in competitive in be in those max raid events. So people wouldn't have to breed to get the Pokemon, Mm -hmm. they could go to the max raid battle, catch it, and then just EV train it and use it in competitive play. So that shows like a real, that they're really trying, I guess, to support the competitive scene now. Yeah, you know, I gotta say to uh, Caboose and and Camille, it's just funny because I know like all of this is just like, what? <laughs> I know nothing. I like, but see, this is this is why I was uh like so happy with Temtem because Pokemon is oh so my God, not hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Because Pokemon is Go. so complicated. Like you you're already you're already hearing Victoria and she's barely scratching the surface with how complicated yeah. it can be. And and then Temtem literally comes out here makes their own Pokemon, and it's like, you know, it's just as intricate, and that's just, like, really cool, and, and it got... Pokemon-like things, yeah. Yes! <laughs> but, it, no, but it's really neat, like, with Pokemon. So, literally, do you guys have favorite Pokemon? I just know favorite? Charizard. Oh, you just know Charizard? <laughs> okay. The popular Char- I know Charizard? a couple. I know a couple. Yeah, yeah. I had Pokemon Bulbasaur Red. One. Yes, Bulbasaur. Yeah, Bulbasaur is one. Is Bulbasaur yeah, one? Yeah, How can starters. you? Snorlax. Oh, you starters. <laughs> He Star said his Bulbasaur one. Uh, oh. Pikachu, obviously. Um, um, okay, okay. Uh, That's it. That's it. No, come on. You can name what is, ten. I'd have Pokemon. to. I'd have to think. I'd have to like Jimmy Neutron brain blast to, to really think. But like, <laughs> but like I, I, I'm just not. I'm just not as into to Pokemon. But like, I guess from an esports standpoint, if you will, them banning sixteen playable characters, like like I'm thinking, I'm in fighting game mode, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking yeah. like. like Imagine There's a Pokemon they banned, fighting like, game. What was the commentary yeah, right. if another game okay. did this? The, exactly. And right. I feel like it, it would kind of be outrage. Like, if what about they did like this. League of Legends? Mm-hmm. If they exactly like, just straight up banned right. the yeah. champion. I, well, I feel it's, like it's, it's weird because yeah. I'm looking at fighting games and, and most of the time it would be like, let's balance these characters or let's take the yes, characters that exactly. maybe aren't as yes. good and make them better. But like just outright yeah. being like, no. Don't play the. You're not allowed. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's oh, that's geez. the thing. It's weird. Well, it's interesting that you mentioned that because Megalino actually said that they banned four of his team. Sucks to suck, Meg. Team, I know how you not feel. Not just a small adjustment. It's like that could be majority of their team right there. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But but you do bring up an a uh, uh, interesting point because the fact that they couldn't balance out these characters really runs the question is that possible for pokemon like did they feel well, that it was impossible for pokemon because you know each pokemon hat is known to do specific things it's not like fighting games where they could adjust their move well they can they can with pokemon i don't understand why they couldn't balance well, it. well i think the big There's difference so is that pokemon. pokemon doesn't update they can't really make changes to the pokemon through the lifespan of that game Every Mm -hmm. time you have seen changes made to Pokemon, it's been between generations. For example, in Sun and Moon, they introduced this Pokemon called Mimikyu, and its ability has a disguise, which absorbs the first attack hits, and it takes no damage. And then in Sword and Shield, they made it so the disguise, when it breaks, it takes like 10% damage versus not having any damage last gen. So that was like a little nerf. And they also like update the move pools of Pokemon so like they can learn moves that they haven't learned previously mm-hmm. like ally switch is a big one in previous games i think only behemoth could learn yeah. it but now so many psychic types and ghost types and a lot of types can learn it now yes well, so, it, so the point uh, is like they they release these games and the characters like they are the way they are and that's it until the next yeah. one yeah okay that sucks yeah. is it <laughs> is because they don't, they don't really patch. like want to patch or what like do they not like want to I mean, patch is that why? Maybe they can't 
patch their game with the way it is like a cartridge uh -huh. and maybe it would just be too difficult to like keep mm. uploading updates and then have as soon as you put yeah. in your sorted game it has to like update for an hour before you can play yeah i wonder if that's a downfall of the how like you mentioned the cartridge maybe like we don't know for sure we're not the developers or any developer that would understand this from mm -hmm. the technical aspect but i wonder if that's the downside of the nintendo switch as a whole right like mm -hmm. it's i'm yeah. trying to think of other games on the switch well, i know they put dead by daylight on the switch yeah and they're, they're updates with all the other updates so i actually honestly think it might I be because sure. there's literally 890 pokemon so can you can you imagine if a, a fighting game had eight hundred and ninety characters and trying to I mean, balance? There's just too much like red tape. Like Game Freak would have to talk. The Pokemon Company would have to talk to Game Freak, and Game Freak would have to oh, clear everything with the Pokemon Company. That's so true too. maybe yeah. since it's like not the developers and the people making the rules aren't the same company. Yeah. So maybe it's like they're. I think what needs to happen then is because this could be a, a huge blow for the competitive community. Like it's great that mm -hmm. um, the Pokemon company is giving so much love to the competitive game. Like I know the smash community would love that because they're not getting any love from Nintendo in terms of how to yeah. make that work competitively. So like, it's great that the Pokemon company is doing this. However, I feel like they do need to involve game freak in this discussion if this is um what's the hurdle in terms of patching the characters and just uh, making tiny adjustments instead of banning characters because like alex said you have 800 and whatever pokemon out there i lost track after 100 yeah, okay. yeah um, now there's like 900 <laughs> <laughs> and you only you didn't even know bulbasaur <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like there, there are so many pokemon and i feel like alex may be on to something with the sheer volume of pokemon there are out there to patch it it's something that they would definitely need the developers to be on board with so if they're going to take sure competitive so very seriously and continue to give love to the community we need to see that cohesiveness with the pokemon company and yeah. game freak yeah it, it's really surprising that um I, I don't know if this is a nintendo thing or a pokemon thing that they like their competitive so much uh, one of my friends who is like I, i'm friends with a couple of vgc people and they were telling me how like some of their best experiences was going out to these tournaments and one was like in hawaii and they got like a whole resort and yeah well i know uh, like i don't know all the details but like, i know like you can get championship points if you win and if you have like a certain amount of championship points then you basically get to go for free and stuff oh oh yeah i think i think yeah i think uh one of my friends like talked about that and it's so weird how they randomly chose pokemon when like smash has been here but i don't think it's <laughs> Because when I was a kid, like we would link up our Game Boys and like um, our Game Boy Color or Advance, if, you had, if your parents spent money and got you the Advance, but um, <laughs> we would link up and recess. That's all we did. It was like probably my other than fighting games, like in an arcade setting, it would probably be my other experience as a kid in terms of playing games competitively outside of my family. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, so I, I think it makes so much sense. Like people have been with the with the cards, like the actual playing cards, um, mm -hmm. like the trading cards. I'm so I feel so old. I'm like, what what's the actual do that. term to call this? Um, trading, but, card game. <laughs> trading card game. Yeah, thank you. So like, but with that and then also just how Pokemon works in general with the battling, like even from gen like the first gen, I feel like Pokemon has a had a long-rooted competitive scene so i mm -hmm. understand I why they're getting this much support just also give smash yeah. community some support as well that's, that's yes. i feel like some yes. people might be relieved with the ban because then they don't have to deal with the same pokemon all True. the time <laughs> yeah it can make things interesting huh so are, do, are you gonna end up writing guides on that and stuff possibly i mean i have cool. to like do some experimentation or see what's going on oh she's gonna take it she's going back to the gym to really train it out and understand <laughs> what oh, come on, yeah. mean for the for the yeah, game they, they banned a lot of big players so if you guys were uh <laughs> gym leader, <laughs> what kind of type what kind of gym leader type would you be definitely mm -hmm. dragon type oh i was gonna say dragon be tech dragon yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all no, you have fighting type. I think, I think, like a, I think Bruce would have fighting type. 
And I think yeah. Camille, <laughs> what, what, what kind of what kind of gym leader type would you be? I was gonna say Dragon as well. Dang, I, I, I we're all gonna say Dragon. I think <laughs> <laughs> it's just really cool. It's well, like yeah, Dragon are like, like some of the strongest typings. And plus, if someone came, we'll up be a to squad you gym. And, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's, do that. let's do that. But before we go, because we we started answering it, and then uh, Caboose mentioned. Bulbasaur, and then we did it. <laughs> what is your favorite Pokemon? I think in chat someone said theirs is Greninja. That was Stealth Gamer. Oh, that's oh, a good, Greninja. Greninja. Mm. That is um, a good Pokemon. My favorite is Hydreigon. It's a dark I love Hydreigon. Introduced in black that's and white. Cool. Me too. Yeah. yeah. I got <laughs> As soon as I saw Hydreigon, I bought black and white. <laughs> no, you should Google it. It's cool. <laughs> you oh my yeah, God. I'm not trying to be a jerk. I just know. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? From now on, we're gonna place Caboose's uh, favorite Pokemon onto him, so it will be Bulbasaur. Just he's known as <laughs> Bulbasaur. <laughs> <laughs> he's an avid Bulbasaur. If it's a Pokemon or a Temtem segment, I am <laughs> useless. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry to break it to you, Caboose. This whole <laughs> squad cast is about Pokemon. Yeah. Oh, no. You better, you better um, get up to date here. Uh, dragon Gym. Uh, <laughs> Bulbasaur, Bulbasaur is Bulbasaur <laughs> Dragon. <laughs> Alex, uh, what's your favorite uh, Pokemon? Who's your favorite Pokemon? Uh, I honestly have a lot. Uh, One. You actually, have I, like, I like dragons, too. I like Garchomp. He's a dragon, too. Oh, Garchomp's good. And it, yeah. it'll be back in uh, Crown Tundra. So. Yeah, I'm really excited for that, actually. <laughs> I'm gonna hit it old school. I said it before, but Charizard, Charizard. just because I had Pokemon Red and Charmander's so cute. How do you feel about Charizard not being a dragon? Wait, what? well, if you mega evolve, yeah, you're right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mega evolve is like Yeah, are, are, are you like Drake Shatter now? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm gonna what? Po it's what? A I'm this. It's a firefly. What? There's not what actually is? a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> the stupidest thing ever. How is he not a dragon? How is how is Charizard not a dragon? He breathes fire. What firefly <laughs> breathes fire? There's an I apple. Know. There's like a literal yeah, apple. That is apple. a dragon. It's like, <laughs> it's like a little apple. <laughs> and it's a dragon, but Charizard is not a dragon. It's a dragon grass, I believe. Yes. Guys, <laughs> chat. My world has been turned upside down. I don't even know, I, I don't even know if yeah, I know Pokemon true. anymore. Like I need to throw out my cartridge for Pokemon Red. I just that <laughs> what? I also that told you that so your fun. life is actually um is actually choices picked by someone else. <laughs> <laughs> you need to ask the moderator. Yeah, yeah. 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 Moderator, <laughs> make Charizard a dragon. Moderator, looking up, moderator, moderator, wherever you are. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> chat surprise as well. Chat, like, know, yeah. chat's just, I, they understand my rage, hopefully. But I'm, you know what? I need to cool off because I am so worked up right now. So let's, let's just take a break and come back. <laughs> 